Ah, good evening, everyone. And welcome to a very special evening uh, here in Contest of Speed. It is the, uh, the preseason test of, <clears throat> excuse me, of, uh, of Season 9. Can't believe we've made it this far uh, already. Uh, we are coming to you for this first race uh, just north of the beautiful city of Barcelona, Spain. Uh, at the Circuit de Catalunya. Uh, I'm Ken Petter. Joined alongside by Andy Wu. How are you doing tonight? Absolutely fabulous. Um, looking forward to uh, what is, you know, I'm going to hype up as the most exciting uh, AM2 season uh, to date. Um, competitive drivers everywhere. Um, multiple constructors that can win, multiple drivers that can win, uh, and I, I think it's going to be really tight all across the grid. And I'm looking forward to you know, getting a, a sneak peek at uh, what this season is going to offer us. Yeah, we'll be peeling back the curtains here uh, mm -hmm. tonight. First time, we're going to see a lot of these guys. Obviously, a lot of uh, exciting stuff going on on the AM side. Uh, with the new AM3 division uh, below this. So a lot of new faces uh, in AM2 for the year, but we do have a couple familiar uh, foes, or maybe not foes, but uh, familiar people. Uh, you might remember from last season, uh, Electric Blade was the runner-up in the championship. He's back. Vamu Nubel finished third. Uh, he's back as well. And... Uh, we do expect those two to be the uh, championship protagonists, don't we? Yeah, uh, along with uh, you know several others, but uh, I'd say those two are probably your favorites. Uh, you got you know Vamu, your qualifying warrior. Uh, maybe the race pace isn't there, but maybe that's something you worked on over the off season. Maybe said a whole finally said a whole entire month. Yeah, exactly. Uh, plenty of time um, to refine his race finishing abilities uh, because we know he has the pace um, snatched several poles last season from the uh, champion uh, Mitch Burns who will be racing tomorrow evening um, but he just couldn't quite put the races together and that's something that we saw uh, Electric do you know often was he, he wouldn't really qualify that well but he put together a really smooth race and work his way up to the front and, and snatch a couple of victories. So I, I think it's going to be interesting uh, watching those two go at it this season, but I don't think they're going to be the only two people up front. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, DK is going to be a factor in that as well. He finished fourth in the championship right behind those other two. They actually might have finished third. I'm not entirely sure. Is uh, Your dog is barking in the background. Uh, DK, of course, uh, a veteran. And uh, we love the troops here in the uh, Contest of Speed booth. Uh, so thank you for your service, DK. Racing fan goes P1. He'll be in that mix as well. 700 separating those two early on. Captain Rogue is back in a Ferrari. He'll be partnering Bob Manubel, uh after not racing last season. You might remember him. He's won a couple races in AM2 before. Um, and, uh, I guess as the night goes on, We'll make our way through the teams, check out the driver pairings. There's some guys I don't even know, uh, but luckily Andy here is the the one that uh, did most of the recruiting uh, for the new three-tier AM system in Contest of Speed. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of work, but uh, I'm really happy uh, and proud on what we got going here. Uh, still looking uh, for some new drivers. You know, anyone interested in driving a Formula One car for the first time? AM3 is a tier for you. Uh, the training wheels division is what I'm going to call it. Uh, still got some open seats there. Um, is, uh, but you know, man who we're, riding on board we're not going to. Uh, yeah, is, we're, we're not going to turn you away. If you uh, if you want to drive, we'll, we'll get you in a tier somewhere. We'd love to have you. Absolutely. Um, lots of changes across the board on the AM side, and I think it's shaping up to be pretty exciting. Uh, obviously, the short season 
only only 15 races. Uh, 14. 14. Excuse me, 14 races. Uh, I, I don't have my notebook. Um, <laughs> I usually take notes before actual races, but I figured I'd just free ball this one. Um, TG, TTG Abood, everyone's favorite uh, Lebanese person, except for um, Bobby Rahal. Uh, he is uh, going P1, pray, uh, prayers for Beirut. Uh, still shelling the turtle in P4 on those mediums, actually beating Electric's best time so far. Uh, if you want another update over uh, what the actual hell we're doing here uh it is a one uh this short quality here 18 minute session followed by a 25 percent race at catalonia and then we were uh we're going to reverse the entire finishing order uh for the second race which is in bahrain also 25 percent. so everybody should get a pretty good run out here uh, i believe 16 of these 18 drivers are full-time uh, in AM2. So just about the whole grid in attendance, which is nice to see. Uh, Tin Man is AM3, and I believe Sky AKD uh, is also uh, trying out here, running some race pace laps on those softs. Uh, obviously, 25% races, the tire wear isn't as severe as in the 50% races around Spain, because let me tell you, uh, Spain uh, really eats these Pirelli's up. It's still bad on 25% races. Uh, I think it's going to be an 18 lap race, uh, so definitely a long one. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, in terms of a testing track, uh, I think there's nothing that can really compare to Spain, because I would not want to do a league race here. Um, so I, I feel like this is the, the best way to incorporate this god-awful track. Um, and then I, I'm looking forward to the uh, the 25% race after this, though. So, uh, invert the grid at um, at Bahrain uh, for these guys to, to put on a show. Very easy to overtake around there, and that is uh, going to be kind of a, a teaser, if you will, a trailer for uh, the first race of this season, um, which is going to be at Bahrain. We're kicking off in Bahrain and ending in the United States of America. Uh, yeah, 14 rounds this year. Uh, your your pleads uh, have already paid off in the chat. We've got Braden McWilliams. Who do I talk to so I can try to be an AM3? Uh, well, um, Braden, you know, I'll hey, man, you. you're talking to him right now. Uh, your boy, Andy Wu. Um, I think, don't don't we have the link to the Discord somewhere down there? Um, I don't know. I don't let me, navigate let me see the Twitch to or maybe the website, contestspeed.com. There's a big Ooh, button that says join now. I got it. I, I got the, I got the Nightbot. He is Look at it. you go, man. Doing yeah. stuff. Yeah, so there you go, Braden. Just, uh, just check that out. And uh, one of our AM admins will be with you shortly. Um, but probably not over the next hour and a half or so. Because we are going to be covering race to watch. some yeah. racing. Indeed. Ooh. And... Uh, I, I got breaking news. I want you to look at E. Warren's helmet right now. He's on a flyer right now, but but that helmet might be the greatest Williams helmet I've ever seen. Um, I don't know if you'll get a good view of it or not. But I'm stuck on the on the side pod cam right now. Yeah, you might get a good view when he comes through here. Ooh, that is strong. That is strong. Oh, I mean that that, that might strong. be the greatest helmet I've that seen in a long time. Yeah, weird. he even got like the colors to match perfectly. It's kind of that like. P yellow. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> and, this and the man, light blue in there. This man, graphic design is his passion. Wow. I mean, impressive. Impressive, impressive lap and a solid time there. Uh, 17 <laughs> 4 puts him P6. Obviously, this is uh, uh, Warren's first contest of speed action. Looking pretty strong so far. Who, uh, where, where did we find him? Uh, so, him and Deathstorm, uh, the two Willies. Uh, know each other, uh, and me and you raced with Death uh, approximately like four years ago. And one of my first league racing experiences uh, was a disaster, but we did meet some nice people. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, and definitely. some not nice people. Oh yeah, uh, but, yeah for sure. But the, those, <laughs> um, but those guys uh, have thing. been racing on this game for a long time, and uh, yeah, they're making a kind of a redate, I guess. Yeah, that's good to hear. Let's uh, let's take a look at Death Storm here with the uh, swivel cam. 
above the uh, very tricky turn eight, turn nine, or is it turn seven, turn eight? Uh, something like that. I think turn nine is the this is this is why the I keep right much. hander. Uh, I, I do believe the death storm is probably the best bowler in contest of speed. If I'm being honest, uh, he, he does who does he think speed. he is? I am I'm Pete Weber. Hopefully, <laughs> legend, St. Louis legend, by the way, Pete Weber. Uh, has like a museum here. I think uh, we got who else is new to the division? We already touched on Tin Man. Yeah, he's the king of the Appalachians. Whoa, Shelly's around. Got a, got a first spin. Gravel Trap in the tricky uh, 7 and 8 chicane uh, in the middle sector. Place to wind up. Typically, you end up on the wall right there along the outside of the circuit. Uh, Shelly ends up in the Gravel Trap, so I wonder, I wonder how he managed to do that. Oh, now his tires are hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, well, he probably uh, snapped, and instead of, oh boy, you better get out the way quick. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> ghost, and I think he might have just damaged his wing as well. He's stuck. <laughs> Shelly's just having a whale of a time here. Uh, yeah, it is uh, something really important to put out. Uh, we are going to no ghosting this season. So no more driving across the track shenanigans. Uh, lap cars will be uh, required to get out the way uh, fully now. And uh, qualifying laps can definitely be ruined. Uh, by a car that is spun or something. Speaking of spins, Cam Tizzle, the guy that almost absolutely nailed uh, Shelly there, uh, also went for a spin. Uh, he's now just trying to get out of everyone's way at the moment. But um, he's also a, uh, a new one to AM2 division, I guess. Um, dropping down from AM1, didn't quite have the time that he wanted there. So he's got the, uh, the assist back on. And uh, I think he's definitely going to be fighting towards the uh, the sharp end of yeah, AM1 I, I this, did, or AM2 this I did too. I think Cam's going to kind of sneak under the radar. Obviously, we'll remember Mitch Burns, uh, last year's champion. He is uh, he, he demoted himself from AM1 and absolutely cakewalked to the championship last season over the course of 24 rounds. Uh, so perhaps Cam Tizzle can do something similar. Uh, AM1 is switching to line only this year. Uh, no ABS or traction control is allowed. Or uh, automatic gears, uh, which automatic was gears. actually the biggest issue in terms people, of turning assists off. How do, how do people drive like that? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> the I'm, more you I'm, know. I'm not here to, I'm not here to judge. <laughs> uh, Shelly has rear wing damage. Uh, oh, wow. Cam Tizzle, uh, quote this, he says, damn right I'm going to sneak under the radar. Uh, so, Ooh. so th them's fighting words from Cam Tizzle, uh, straight out of Indiana, who are playing Wyoming in about 10 minutes in a playing game. Um, uh, Harris Plex. Well, speaking of Ooh, fighting words, uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, racing fan, uh, completely out of nowhere, uh, didn't even know 165 uh, is now at the top of the timing sheets. Uh, so both McLaren boys with absolute worldies there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I have I mean, nothing else have... to add except for that. That's really fast. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of time to talk about um, the teams. Uh, as you mentioned it at the start, I believe we're gonna have just an absolute uh, whale of a season. Uh, between these constructors, uh, obviously racing fan and out within a boot is is committing to showing up to more than three races per year. Uh, <laughs> he might be uh, a factor in the championship, and a racing fan almost got a win last year a couple of times. Came short, had one podium in Imola, but you see his pace on display in qualifying on a weekly basis. I think these guys uh, might be the quickest tandem. Uh, out of the whole, out of the whole lot, yeah, uh, quicker than Bobby but, right now. Uh, look at the uh, the order at the moment before it gets <laughs> yep. messed up. Two by two by two uh, yep, for the top Ferrari. six spots. Alpine, Ferrari, McLaren. Uh, I'd, I'd I'd say those are your probably your your best bets for the constructors right there. Uh, well, don't forget, oh, I think Haas as well with electric and Z Oh yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be in there. Uh, I'd well say you could even throw Williams in there with a uh, Warren and Death Storm, but uh, yeah, very, definitely, very definitely race pace oriented guys there. Yeah. Obviously, we're not going to put too much stock 
into uh, into a preseason test, but I, I think uh, you're right. I mean, at the end of last season, we were signing off, and I was I'm genuinely excited to see how this plays out. Uh, a lot of quick drivers, uh, and they're all good in different around. ways too. It's quite uh, glad, man. I'd spoken to existence. Warren uh, spun out of turn one uh, after I gave him a little bit of praise. Uh, it still is a great helmet for Warren. Uh, oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, Shelly, the turtle out here is finally doing a lap on softs. It's crazy how rusty I am after not doing this for a month. Uh, I, I think we're I, doing I just, all right. I just had, well, no, it's, it's more just the, the graphics and stuff. I didn't even realize that I've, I've, I've had it on best tire the entire time. I don't even know what tires <laughs> these guys are on. Shelly goes P6. Uh, I think he might be another dark horse for the championship as well. Uh, and so will wing it. Uh, quite frankly, wing it taking the demotion like Cam Tizzle, but wing it does have some pretty big chops up in M1. He's gotten a podium before. I uh, think he, uh, I think he got P4 in one of the last races of the season. Oh, yeah. he's kind of sneaky. He'll he'll sneak a good result out once in a while in AM2, but I, I think he's looking to get those good results. Man, what a lap from Racing Fan. 16-3. Completely interrupted my train of thought, that but wow, what a lap. Fan. What is uh, this guy doing? Damn, do, it, do, do you and me need to go to AM2? Because these guys are absolutely flying at the moment. Uh, possibly. A 16-3 <laughs> is definitely pretty high level level stuff. Oh, and he left. AM2. Racing Fan just left. Oh, is he having internet issues? Perhaps. You oh. saw that as a reoccurring issue for racing fan last year. Uh, Stalled in the, the grid and shine. Uh, followed up his lap as well with a 16 4. Yeah, these uh, are very quick times uh, from these boys. So the McLaren boys showing gonna out. It. It's going to do it from qualifying. Uh, unfortunately, didn't even mention uh, secure the perks. Disqualified uh, before yep. we even really got going. Didn't see what happened to him, but hopefully... Uh, uh, he was blocking the pit lane. Uh, I think he spun coming out the pits. And, uh, yeah, got disqualified immediately. So never even got to set a lap. Um, yeah, I, I think just looking at the sharp end of the grid here, we we got a good championship on our hands. All right? I think we do. I'm excited. I've, Don't be too I've never thought scared. I would I think... be excited to commentate a virtual F1 league, but <laughs> but I'm excited. I think uh, yeah, E. Warren uh, is following up uh, what Cam Tizzle says. Wow, racing fan is scary. Uh, yes, in, indeed, that is some very quick times being put down here in Spain. Uh, but here we have a racing fan, Abu Vamu, DK Rogue. Uh, Cam Tizzle, Shelly, Bad Fast ZX, Wing It, Electric, round out your top 10. Free tire choice will go to the Williams of Warren Deathstorm, uh, VTech, Chase NASCAR 22, Tin Man, who is apparently Italian now, Harris Plex, Sky AKD, who is a man without a nationality, and then Secure the Perks, who got disqualified before he could even get going. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we do have two Americans rocking Italian flags, which is, you know, to each his own, I guess. But, yeah, Tin Man, uh, pride of West Virginia. Is, any, is it West Virginia? I thought it was just normal Virginia. Oh, yeah, I think it is, yeah. He, he, he's, the, he's, he's close to where I am. He's, he's like southern Appala Virginia. Appalachians. How, do you, how Virginia. do you pronounce Appalachians? Is it Appalachians? Or... Yeah, the Appalachians. Appalachians? The Appalachian Mines. All right, well, uh, Killer Clown's in the comments. Shout out to Killer Clown. He's uh, giving some respect to Rogue Wing. They're not Rogue. Captain Rogue. I'm mixing up my Rogues. Yeah, Rogue Wing was his old name uh, before yeah. his untimely uh, exit from contest speed a while back, but Captain Rogue 88 has returned. To and he did win a couple of races uh, in the season uh, before his yeah, exit. It, yes, it was it was the season where uh, I believe I won. You got beaten in the championship. Races, yep, and I lost the championship. Uh, mainly because I didn't really care at the start of the season. I was very rusty, but you know this isn't about me. This is about the guys heading out on the formation lap right now. Um, for one more time, I guess I'll run through the order. Noah. 
no F1 on Flume Phone uh, tonight. Uh, we're gonna save that for when it's really needed, which is which will be next week in Bahrain uh, for round one of this enticing championship. Racing fan in the McLaren uh, locks out the front row very impressively uh, with TTG Abood, uh, followed by championship. Dare I say favorite? Val Maneuver in P3 and DK Nortec in P4. Uh, Captain Rowe will be starting P5, an impressive time from him. Cam Tizzle in P6, followed by Shelly the Turtle, who should have had a win last season in the AM2, if you remember Portugal. I don't want to bring that up, just in case he has PTSD from that. Uh, ZX, who over the course of a full season, I, I think ZX uh, might be up there with these uh, contenders. Uh, we started P8, wing it in 9th, Electric Blade in 10th. Uh, e. Warren and Deathstorm will be starting on the mediums, followed by VTech also on the mediums. Chase NASCAR and Tin Man will be on the softs, Harris on the mediums, and then Sky AKD uh, on the softs, followed by uh, Bad Boy himself kills the, the perks. As, ooh, who's that? Is that Shelly? Looks like he spun. No, it's 10 11. <laughs> Hot start. Hot start for Shelly. He's not old um, enough to be drinking, so I don't, I don't know what's going on with him. <laughs> yeah, you know, that was a very weird intro uh, with not the flutophone uh, going on. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to next week uh, to hear that. I mean, I can. I, I suppose I can do it for the next week. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's too late now. Uh, racing but, I mean, fan, wasn't race. able to get back in. So his AI. Oh, front. so it's Racing Fans AI on the front row. Oh, man, this is going to be rough for Racing Fan. We've got 13 people watching. Thanks. But it says he's joined, so yeah, it, says, it says he joined. But now we already have some glitches going on with the leaderboard. Uh, lights are going in. Yeah, let's, uh, let's oh, there, there's, uh, there's, oh, my oh. God, there's chaos. He didn't go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we might have to restart this. <laughs> oh. what, what just happened? There's a graveyard of cars in the back there. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. There's... I mean, at least eight cars with no front wing. Four guys are out. Should we perhaps <laughs> look into restarting this race? Um, I, I don't. I, I mean, honestly, they get a start on pole for the next race. Oh man, it, it's. <sighs> well, we were worried about that. Now everybody's gonna leave the session. Um, uh. Okay, you know what? I mean, if we restart it, I didn't get a picture of the qualifying, did you? Oh, no, I didn't. Um, yeah. The yeah, racing fan has completely sabotaged the lobby. Yep. Way to go, racing fan. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's restart it. Hot start. All right, restarting the lobby. Uh, if any of the drivers are streaming this race on YouTube, could, could you do my screenshot and post that? Uh, I was not expecting this to happen. Um, but yes, it, it does appear that um, racing fam is stuck and waiting to take back control of this car from pole mm. position. And, uh, did not go. Yeah, you know, I forgot to give everyone a warning uh, that ghosting was off. Uh, I thought it was pretty common knowledge. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't. You can only make so many announcements. Uh, that was insane because I was on board with. Uh, oh man, I don't know who it was at the back. Um, I think it was VTech. VTech made it through all of that without getting any wing damage. 
Um, <laughs> he's like a pink <laughs> and he started now. 13. So he had cars that arc breaking uh, behind him, uh, cars flipping in front of him, and VTech uh, made it there completely unscathed. Uh, indeed, I cannot close app. Uh, do you know why? Um, because it'll cut off the stream. Ooh. Yeah, well, hopefully you can get back in, because, I mean, the, the game's a little funky. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see about that. <clears throat> Obviously, uh, when people are saying that's why we should have ghosting, I do believe that, that he still would have installed there on ghosting regardless. But who knows? You know, I'm just here to report what I see. And uh, that was very chaotic, but it's a good thing that these guys are getting out of their system now. Yeah, I mean, it's a preseason test. You know? Just just let that happen now and not in a week. All right, um, Cam, Cam Tizzle, the real MVP. Yeah, can you send that? Uh, oh. can, you, can you send the grid picture to uh, Andy on, on Discord? Ooh, ooh, yes, please. Thank you. Uh, and I gotta get ten man. Other than that, I believe everyone else has an invite to the session, uh, except for you. There you go. <clears throat> Did you get it? Oh. Yes. All right, cool. Um, I feel like I should be playing some elevator music or something right now. Yeah. Uh, play the flute phone theme song. And maybe that'll. Maybe that's. That, see, that's what the problem is. You didn't play it, and it messed everyone up. It was all your fault. Oh, great. Hmm. Well, everyone, gotta say this stream was pretty bananas. Had a lot of people watching. Had a lot of people uh, commenting. Uh, but we're gonna have to restart the stream because uh, I cannot join. come back. We'll be back in like yes. two minutes. It'll be in the right same, here, place, same place. Same place. Two minutes. Give us two minutes. It's all 